Hello, this is Scott Serretta, Director of Education for the COPD Foundation. This is lesson number five in the COPD Foundation's MSU screening protocol. In lesson number five, we discuss retrieving the data and recording it on the participant scorecard for the event. So in the last lesson, we completed doing the spirometry test. The next step is the data will be uh, displayed on the screen above you. You want to discard the mouthpiece at this time, not by touching the mouthpiece, but by pushing it out from the bottom. Grab your disinfectant wipe, remove the mouthpiece. You can discard the mouthpiece, and then wipe down the machine. At this point, the machine has been cleaned, and then you can record the data on the report card. So we're gonna take a closer look here at the results. We're going to see here that the FEV6, and for all intents and purposes, when we use the term FEV6, it's the force expiratory volume in six seconds. It's a fair equivalent for FVC, forced vital capacity. So these two numbers are somewhat universal. For screening purposes at the event, it's easier to get a six second blast than a complete force vital capacity maneuver, which may take up to 15 seconds. So we will see that value used here. FEV6, you're gonna record the value in liters. 3.19 is recorded on the sheet. And then the percent predicted. 71% are predicted for my age, height, ethnicity, and gender group recorded here. The next is FEV1, 2.59 liters, and 70% of predicted. And then FEV1 FVC ratio, 0.81 is what will be recorded here. This is the very critical value. The ratio reported either as FEV1 to FVC ratio, or on this machine, the value is, is percent FEV1. That's how the machine actually gives that value. You want to record the actual value, 0.81, not the percent predicted category. If you record the percent predicted, you will make a mistake in interpretation. You can see that the ratio itself is actually a percentage. It's 81%. So if you use the other value, it would be 100% of predicted, and then it would be artificially higher than normal. Once we have the results on this, we're going to interpret the results and let the patient know the results of the test today. That will be covered in the next lesson. You can also see that this will be complete and this will be something that we give to the participant. Thank you very much.